Oh, that's scary. Hello and welcome again. Today I am at the Coast to Coast Trail once more and I've just um, reached checkpoint five. And what I'm gonna do is to walk from here uh, to Coney Island, but I'll do it in two parts. The first part will be from checkpoint five to checkpoint seven. And then in the second part, I'll go from checkpoint seven to checkpoint nine. And that will be the end of this coast to coast trail hike. Now, uh, today it's taken me about um, an hour and 15 minutes uh, to get uh, to this starting point today um, on public transport, uh, bus and train. Um, and I'm now uh, walking, as you can see. So the challenge I have today is that I have a problem with my mobile phone and I don't have any battery. Um, phone won't charge uh, and there's an alert, a notification saying that there's moisture in the char USB port um, and that uh, it won't charge until it's dried out. Well, um, I think I can live uh, without having a phone for a while um, in terms of receiving and making calls and sending messages, but um, the map for um, the coast to coast trail from this point onwards is on my phone and I'm not quite sure um, if I can follow uh, the signposts along the way without having a map on my phone. Anyway, I'm going to try and we'll see um, how it goes. But I've just reached um, one of the signposts here and let me just turn around and show you uh, where I am. Um, hopefully you can see that. So I think I've walked about 25 or 26 kilometers so far and I have um, maybe less than half of the distance to go. I'm not quite sure what that is exactly but it's probably about 15 kilometers uh, we'll just have to wait and see I can't use my phone to calculate my distance using um, a Strava app uh, so I'm gonna have to do it uh, manually uh, by uh, using my uh, tracker on my uh, on my wrist uh, and see whether I can figure it out that way but for now I'm just going to continue uh, walking out of the park here uh, onto the main road. Uh, we'll return to the roadworks that are there. And then, wow, um, somebody's got a toy aircraft here. Um, and then uh, what I'll do is um, I think I'll um, time lapse uh, that walk along the road until I get to checkpoint six. And then we'll stop and I'll, I'll give you an update. All right, oh, that's scary. Um, anyway, let's get going and I'll see you soon.
Hello again. I've now reached checkpoint six on the coast to coast trail in Singapore. Uh, this is just uh, next to Luxus Hills Park. And if I remember correctly, uh, the trail now turns to the left and we move northwards for a while uh, before getting into the final stretch, uh, which goes um, in a northeasterly direction. So we're walking along Anmokyo Avenue 5 for about 3.6, 3.7 kilometers. It's a busy road, as you can see. But nonetheless, um, I feel good. Uh, it's hot today, uh, no problem uh, with uh, my feet. Um, I feel like I've got a lot of energy to keep going, which is a good thing. Now, in my rush to get out from home this morning, um, I forgot to do two things. Uh, one was to put on some sunblock and the other was uh, to put some Vaseline um, on my feet. Anyway, um, I'll just have to live with that. What I do have though is um, some protection against the sun. I've got a buff um, that I can pull down uh, to my neck if I need to do that. And I'm also wearing um, these uh, anti-UV arm sleeves. Uh, they also um, have a compression uh, feature. So that's keeping my uh, arms protected and strangely cool as well against the heat. And I need uh, that kind of protection because I suffer from prickly heat and I will have a, uh, a bad skin reaction if I don't do something to protect myself. Um, in the summer, I often take claritine and that helps to reduce the prickly heat, but I haven't started that yet. Um, and so we we'll just have to make do with the arm sleeves for now. Now I believe I've got to turn left now and I'll show you a little bit of the path and I'll check in with you uh, later with another update. This is the Senkang River Side Park um, and it's very nice now to be uh, walking um, in this uh, area. Uh, we're off the main road. It's now peaceful and quiet um, and that's a good thing. Now one of the things I wanted to talk about today is solo hiking and my um, the reasons why I do it. I mean of course um, you might think that it's a bit lonely to be out on your own um, but I actually quite enjoy that solitude um, 
and it's good to be um, out in the open uh, thinking my own thoughts reflecting on the work week and all of those uh, other things um, but maybe one of the downsides of solo hiking is that um, I have to constantly remind myself that I've got to keep going um, so that determination um, to finish is always um, on my mind um, but I don't want to be obsessed uh, with just getting to the finish line um, I also want to be uh, involved in the experiences of the present moment try to be as mindful as possible of what is going on around me so I need to balance the whole process of solo hiking uh, with the uh, end goal of reaching the uh, destination that I have in mind uh, so just keeping going um, is part and parcel of what we do as solo hikers uh, but I also want to think about what's going on around me I'm very conscious at the moment I'm walking alongside this river it's very peaceful um, and I like this part of the coast to coast trail very much getting close I think to the next checkpoint and when I get there um, if I can find it I'm going to stop for uh, 10 minutes uh, have a snack uh, have a drink and then continue on to uh, Coney Island So I've reached checkpoint seven and this is the end of the first part of the uh, video for today. Um, I'm just going to sit down now and um, have a snack and a drink before I continue the coast to coast trail until the end uh, which is Coney Island Park. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you soon. Bye.